Welcome to 4C Visions. I'm R.V. Height, Director of Communications at Central Carolina Community College. And today we're in the Cougar Gym, home of the Central Carolina Community College men's basketball team and volleyball team. And we're excited to be with you today. Our first guest is Heather Willett, Dean of Student Support Services at Central Carolina Community College. Hi, Heather, how you doing? I'm doing great, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, Heather, tell us a little bit about your position and how that position relates to athletics here at Central Carolina. Uh, as Dean of Student Support Services, I actually oversee a lot of programs that are uh, student-oriented and student enhancement. Uh, I'm overseeing financial aid, I oversee veterans benefits, I oversee child care assistance, as well as some special programs for special programs. Um, I also oversee student activities as well as our athletic programs, which I consider an enhancement to a student's attendance here at Central Carolina. Now what is the role of athletics here at Central Carolina? Athletics really has a, a big role, it's really far-reaching. Uh, as far as our athletics, we do go to a lot of communities, a lot of areas of the state, as well as out of state. So when we go to these places, our students represent Central Carolina in a really special way, and it brings interest to the college from outside. We actually recruit students from a lot of areas, uh, which is not just local. So that's one outreach that we do as far as athletics. Uh, the other that is the most important role is as far as learning and of course we're about learning first here at mm -hmm. the college and student athletes have to be um, the top of everything that they do. There's a lot of regulations that are involved. Uh, when these students come in they have to meet eligibility requirements and they have to maintain eligibility requirements. So academically they have to be on top of everything and they have to learn a lot of skills that relate to all of learning which would be leadership skills they have to um, exhibit teamwork they have to um, you know just do all of those things that a student needs to do but even beyond to be successful and our coaches really pull that out of all of our students that are athletes and we do say student athlete it is a student first so I think that's an important role for athletics. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the sports programs that are available here at the college. Um, our, student athlete, our student sports are uh, men's basketball, which is headed by our head coach, Doug Connor. He has been with us for 12 years now. He does a fabulous job with our students. Uh, our other is the women's basketball, which this year we are holding at club level um, with the anticipation of going full next year with the full um, team. And so that is headed by Frank Scateri. This is his first year with us. He's doing a fabulous job recruiting. And then we also have our women's volleyball team, which is just finishing up their season right now. And that is headed by uh, Bill um, Carter. And he uh, does a great job. We have a great volleyball team and they are growing. We have the largest volleyball team that we've ever had this year. Um, and then we also have our golf team, which is a men's team and it is headed by Jonathan Hockaday. And um, we are very competitive in that as well. Great. Well, of course, Heather, here we are in uh, the Cougar Den, the Cougar Gymnasium. It's mighty quiet right now, but coming up when men's basketball begins, it's gonna be very full of action. And obviously you're one of the great fans of our men's basketball program. What is it that makes being a part of the Central Carolina basketball program and coming to a Cougar game so exciting? Well, let me tell you about my first time coming to a Cougar basketball game. I had no idea what to expect. When I came in the gym, the first thing that I experienced was just the feeling of excitement. And when we sat down and I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to watch a basketball game. It wasn't just a basketball game. The athleticism that is shown among our level of sports is amazing. Uh, it is nonstop excitement from the very first basketball to, to the very end, and it is just amazing. We have a great fan base. We'd like to grow it. Uh, we definitely have a great fan base. We have fans that come and travel with us. So um, it's just that excitement that comes from, from being a part of this and just the level that they put off. I don't think people realize the level of competition that is at the community college level. And let me just show that I am the first season ticket holder for Cougar basketball. And um, I'm hoping that people will come and will inquire about this at the gate and when they come in. 
and uh, we're looking forward to having a lot more season ticket holders this year. Absolutely. Heather, what is it about Central Carolina that makes it so special for our students? Well, Central Carolina is about people. It's about learning, but it's also about the people. And I think that we have the best people that you could ever ask for, including our coaches. Um, they are amazing. Uh, the coaches give so much of their time and, and probably are not reimbursed half of what they should be. Um, we, we do truly believe in learning first. We do truly believe in the student athlete as a student first. Um, so all of those things come together to make this absolutely the best place to send your, your child or your, your um, student at all. Um, we just love to have um, all these students come in and we want to see them graduate. That's our goal. And even with our athletes, you know, a lot of times you think they're just here to play basketball or they're just here to play volleyball. They're not. They're here to graduate. They're here to go on. They're here to um, reach a, another goal in their um, educational journey. So it's, it's the whole picture, and I think that we're the best in the state of that. Outstanding. Well, Heather, it's been a pleasure to have you on our show today. We look forward to seeing you at some Cougar basketball games this year. And in just a moment, we'll return with our men's basketball coach. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome, oh, I think we're breathtaking, and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. Uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. So show up and, and frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy, and giving up impossible. And then we're going to turn the lights and everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. What's your reaction? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And unconventional methods. Uh, okay, what else? Common. This is their world. There's nothing. I'm gonna die. Go ahead, go, go, go. I'm a teacher. I make more. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah, I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. You're texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. Welcome back to 4C Visions. I'm pleased to have as our guest today, Doug Connor, the men's basketball coach at Central Carolina Community College, who is entering his 12th season. Welcome, Doug. Good to have you on the show today. Thank you, RV. Thank you for having me. Well, it's an exciting time as it always is when you have a new team and an exciting new season. Tell me about uh, how you feel about the uh, prospects for this year. Well, um, I'm really excited. You know, we've really been practicing hard, and guy, these guys are really bit into the program. 
very coachable, good young men. And uh, the season is always exciting because we got a great schedule, and I'm looking forward to getting it started on November 1. Absolutely. Well, Coach, you've always talked about your goals, one of your goals being to win the conference tournament. But you've also talked a lot about maturing these young men into not just uh, from a basketball standpoint, but in their lives and see them progress academically. Talk about your expectations for your players. Well, um, when I go out recruiting, the first thing I look for is character in the kid. Um, and sometimes you don't really know the true character of the kid until you get them on the floor for about three weeks, four weeks. But uh, what I do is basketball is secondary. We want to get the grades right first. Um, and then I want to make sure they carry themselves as an outstanding young man while they're in, at Central Carolina. And then when they leave Central Carolina, I want them to be able to go out into the community and, and be somebody that's going to be proud of what they do and raise a family, um, come back, watch games. But in basketball, with all that, is icing on the cake because they work hard and we always have a great time in here. And once they get everything in order, how they want to do things, everything else falls in place. So we're really excited about the group we got this year. And it's one of the better groups I've had. So I really don't have to discipline them much. They, they're doing what they're supposed to do, what we asked them to do. And they're just fun to be around, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So I, I, I love our team, I really do. That's great. And I know that academics is such an important part of the program. Talk a little bit about uh, the academics here at Central Carolina and, and your expectations for the players. Well, the great thing about Central Carolina is we just don't give them, you know, cream puff schedule in their classrooms. We want them to come here and excel in the classroom so they can, if they want to, transfer to a four-year school and be eligible during a transfer. A lot of guys come here to want to play basketball at the next level. Um, first thing you got to do to get to the next level is have grades and credit hours. So we try to make that a very big part of our program to get them in the right courses um, so they will be able to transfer and then to stay on top of their grades with the AAA program we got, study hall, monitoring grades every week, stuff like that, just to stay on top. I, as a coach, I don't allow them to be late for practice. I don't allow them to be late for classroom and I don't like nobody being out um, missing classes. And uh, we check on that every single day. So that's a really good thing. And then once they learn all that, and because sometimes it's easy to do the bad things. I don't want to go to class today. That's easy to do. Um, you just got to get up and do it. Once you start getting your mindset and doing them kind of things, it becomes secondary. You just do it automatically and everything's great. You know, that's what we do. Central Carolina is one of the better colleges, not only in North Carolina, but the United States because they care about their students. For a lot of people that coach basketball at other schools, oh, he's played basketball for me now, I don't care what he does. I'm friends with all my basketball players from the day one that I stepped on this campus to now. We all stay in communication with each other to come to the games. I care about their families and, and you know, everything. It's just a big family year atmosphere. Well, that's outstanding. Well, I know that speaking of this year's team, you've told me that you've got some really great all-around athletes for this year's team. Talk a little bit about uh, the team itself and, and what some of their strengths are. Well, we got great athletes. This is the first time I've had, you know, top to bottom, we don't fall off after the top five. There's no top five on our team. Everybody's really good. So that's a big plus as a coach because you don't miss nothing when you sub. Um, we get up and down on the court. We are high flyers, shooting, running, I mean, dunking, pressing. Um, and then, you know, we play Division I schools too, which is offer scholarships and got a little bit bigger, bigger athletes than we do. So we got to be able to play a different type game. So we run set offenses and run them off picks and change our defenses up to throw them off. We do everything we can to win. I'm not a coach that comes in here and says, all right, we're going to stay man to man no matter what. The name of the game is to get that W. And whatever it takes to do it, we're going to try our best to get there. And, you know, every team that we got a lot of respect through the community, not community, but the Region 10, um, because we're always on time. We always do the right things. And we're there. We do everything professional. Um, we know how to conduct ourselves, you know, on away games. And so you're never going to have any trouble in Central Carolina. And that's what's a good thing around the whole state. Everybody wants to play us. And after we play some teams that, you know, they want to play us and they don't want to play us. You know, we got to do everything right. They don't want to be get, be, get beat by us. So, right. you know, that's fun too. So it's always good, you know, with these other coaches around the area. Hey, we want to play you this year. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that sounds like fun. Well, Coach, let's talk about this year's players. And I know that you have three returnees from last year's uh, program that you want to talk about. 
Yes, sir. I got three outstanding sophomores that played for me last year in Trey Watson. Trey can, is a multiple talented guy. He can play three positions. We usually like to play him at the one, two, and three. Um, he's so quick, athletic, great um, shooter, understands the game. Uh, he's very explosive. And we've had a couple scrimmage games. He got 30 in the first one and 20, 24 in the second. So he's a, he's a big time scorer. Uh, I just look for great things from Trey. Okay, he's going to be a superstar. And then we got uh, our other sophomore is Greg Smith. He's also a multiple type player that can play one, two, and three. Um, he's also a big time scorer. He's a big physical guy. Um, it's hard for people to guard him at, at the guard position because he's so strong. Um, he listens well and, does, and they give me 100% every time. My third sophomore is uh, Jared Gunner, who's a power player. We got him playing the five, the three, and the four. So we got interchangeable guys. Jared, uh, in our last scrimmage game against Pfeiffer, he had 26, um, and he had, I think he had 14 rebounds. Um, uh, Academic-wise, Jared's the poster child of the team. He's he got there 4.0. He, he just uh, it was a blessing to get him here, um, and he does all the right things in practice. So we're looking for big things from Jared. He's all very difficult for the four man to guard him because he can take you outside and and do a lot of things when they come out try to guard him. He blows by him and stuff like that. So those three are, are nucleus, and they're all three my captains. So we, we I expect everything out of my sophomores, you know, to be clockwork. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Now, how about the other six players that you have? Well, we got some great freshmen coming in. Uh, um, we got a transfer in, a big transfer out of Virginia, Aaron Meredith. He's a 6'8 uh, center, and we can also move him at the forward. Um, he brings a stability in the block and the, and the paint, a force in there. Um, that changes a lot of a lot of teams when they come in here and they see Big Aaron standing in the middle. You, you think twice about going in there. Um, he's a big, big addition to the uh, to the team. We also have uh, Greg Patterson, who's a is a point guard, little smooth guy. I call him Smooth. That's his nickname. He's he just really runs the offense well and back cuts to the basket and plays really tough defense. He's he's a character. He, I like to be around him. Then we got Avion Jordan. He's a transfer in uh, from. Codwell. Um, he plays three positions also. I like the guys that can play multiple positions. Um, he, he, right now, I got him at the point guard in the two. Um, he's very physically strong, very good, fundamentally sound, and a good shooter. So we're expecting big things from him, too. Um, Dejon Boswell, I got him playing the three in the two position. He's very athletic. Uh, got a vertical jump that's like 36 inches. He can just skyrocket, dunk, hangs real well. If I could just get him to play under control sometimes, he's like, he can really, he's got a motor on him that can just never slows down. I just want him to be able to control the speed and use it to explode by people so you won't be easy to guard. If you go to the same speed all the time, you get, it's easy to guard. So just use your, you know, stop and go and use it to your advantage. Um, Jamal Schufer, he is a, a shooter. We play him at the two position. He can light it up. He's a three-point specialist. So when we get to running and kicking it out to him on the wing, he can light it up and, and get a bunch of points really quick. Um, our other guy is a local guy, Isaiah Monroe. He's a 6'6 power forward center. Um, who's, I remember the fit, when I first recruited him, I walked in the gym. I really didn't know I was going in to recruit him that day, but I walked in, he power dunks. He was opening the door, I was like, oh, I gotta look at this guy. <laughs> so uh, he's, he's really crafty around the basket. So. What we've done from last year to this year, recruiting-wise, is solidified some of the positions we were weak in. And uh, I think we have done it. I just hope it carries over into the regular season. And we, you know, I got a good group. They listen. Um, it's, it's up to us. What we want to do with this season, we can be great and mediocre. But right now, our goal is to be great. And we work on hard in practice to go over everything in detail. And, uh, and hopefully, it'll work out where we can really excel this year. Well, Coach, you have two other members of your team that we haven't talked about. That's your two assistant coaches. I know that you uh, are missing your former uh, assistant coach, Brian Hurd, who has uh, become the head basketball coach at Fayetteville Tech. And I know that he was an important part of your program, but it sounds like you've got two great uh, young men to come in and assist you. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm really proud of Brian Hurd, my former assistant. under eight, He was my assistant for eight years. Um, very loyal guy, uh, had a big part of him getting the federal tech job. So I'm very, very proud of that. And we also opened up with him on November 1, so it's going to be a, a big time game here. Um, assistants I have now, I have Brad McDougall, um, who's a former player 
that I coached uh, and trained all through the years as him growing up as a young man. I was a very important part of his life, getting him to Mount Olive where he was a superstar guard there. Um, so I got Brad working with the guards. He understands my system. He understands how I coach. Um, it's really a blessing to have him because he, he's still young enough to get out there and mix it and run up and down with the player or something, you know. So it's really good. They really bite into his stuff, and he runs some really good drills in practice for our guards. Um, my other one is Rashid Jones, who, who's come from out of state. He's, he does, he's on campus as an ambassador. I approached him last year to help me even before I knew I needed another assistant. I wanted him to join the staff then. Um, very outstanding young man. He played um, college basketball up north. He's a power player. Um, so I got him working with the bigs. He's also in charge of my study hall, which is a blessing. I have a coach that's in there for the guys. We'll stay focused and not, you know, slip and not do the right things in the study hall. So it's been a great, great blessing to have Rashi and Brad on my staff. And uh, they're loyal. They're here every night. They do the extra mile. I mean, we our practices are very intense. and. And sometimes I'm not the nicest guy to be around, you know, because I want everybody doing everything the right way. And um, it's been a blessing to have both of them because they really make my job easier because they, they, they're very good at what they do. That's great. Well, Coach, no one can accuse you of uh, not playing some of the best teams around. In fact, your schedule is uh, extremely difficult, uh, particularly that November schedule. And of course, uh, that one of the highlights of this year's schedule is once again you're playing the uh, University of North Carolina JV team in Chapel Hill in the Dean Dome. Yes, sir. Our schedule is off the chart, and, and we always look forward to the Carolina game. There's no, we're not we're one of the few junior colleges that even get in there to play them. You know what I'm saying? So we are blessed with that. Uh, and Carl Bryan, a former coach here, who now is a, uh, a teacher here. And, uh, former dean here. He got all that started because he went to Carolina and uh, he got that in there and we just carried it on through the years. And it's become, I've got a really great relationship with their coaching staff at Carolina. They love having us and we love having them. When we're trying to get them here next year with Hubert Davis coming in. But when we go there, it's just a, a, a great experience because that's the most prestigious college basketball around in the country. And when you play Carolina, and you got them on your schedule, everybody's looking for that game, you know? And it's a competitive game. We beat them, they beat us. So we really enjoy that 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 time of the year. Wow. Well, Coach, this is an exciting uh, Cougar basketball here in this beautiful gymnasium. I know that it means a lot to you to to have the fans to come out. What What is the excitement like for a coach uh, to have your team play here and then Obviously, the season, not only your regular season schedule against a very tough conference, but your conference tournament's going to be here at the end of the season. Yes, sir. We are so excited. First of all, we, we have a very nice gym. Um, we're working on a wood floor that's in the works now. Um, the school's back this. We got the bleachers in about five years ago. Um, you know, it's, it's fun to come in to the Cougar House. This is home and we're hard to beat here and the crowd is outstanding they get behind us and as a coach you know you love it because it it feeds onto the floor with the guys and uh there's so many people that you know at first didn't really know about the cougar basketball program i go around town telling guys and when they come i get people that just keep coming and bringing people with them families are coming now it's a great entertainment for their for their family and their kids and, and once you start coming it's hard not to come because it's so exciting and our schedule's off the chart. We got a really good schedule. So every game is a nail biter. When you come in here, you got to really have your A game on because the atmosphere itself also gets the other team pumped up because you got the loud music going, everybody cheering. And it's, it's just a fun time. And uh, I love, I love uh, you know, the X and O's with the, and get the team ready to prepare for battle. And I just think it's great. And the school backs us. And, you know, we got a nice bus, we got nice stuff, we got nice uniforms. So, you know, Jonathan Sis, our new AD, has really worked hard at what he does. So everything's falling in place from Heather Willett. The starts with Ken Hole, Heather Willett, on down the line, Jonathan, then me, then I'm assistants recruiting, our managers, our, our statisticians. We got the best clock keeper in the world, and we got the best bookkeeper. We're all just professional here, and it's a fun time atmosphere. And I would recommend anybody that's never been to, to hurry up and get in here. You'll love it. And, of course, with that conference tournament, I know you, your conference, you've said that you play in the toughest conference in the uh, 
country. Tell us about that conference. Well, our conference is, you know, it says a lot for itself. There's a lot of people say, oh, you're Division Three and stuff like that. But we play up, and we usually beat the teams that we play up. Our conference, uh, you know, we always represent well in the, in the national tournament. You have a couple of teams that's really went in there and really done good. And hosting the conference tournament this year here, uh, man, that, that's man, we got a good team. So I think it's going to be a, a very wild atmosphere here come uh, tournament time because um, they're going to bring a lot of fans with them, and we're going to have a lot of fans, and it's hard to beat us in here. I'm going to be absolute. I don't care who you are. When you come in here, you better have your shoes tightened up because the Cougars are playing, and it's hard to beat us here. I don't care who we're playing. If they could be Division One, whatever, when they come in here, it's going to be a battle because we've got good fan base, and we love playing here. And uh, we just we just play really great here, so it's it's a good game when we we open it up here and stuff like that. It's hard to beat us in the good grass. Great, coach. Tell our audience what you look for in a young man who may be considering Central Carolina and a basketball career. Well, there's a there's a whole lot of things. I'm one of the coaches that you know I give guys second chances too. I'm, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. If you're a good person. Sometimes you get mixed up with the wrong group as a young man growing up. You don't have the right, you know, parents at the house, or you don't have any parents at the house, and your background may be a little bit shaky. Um, so that kind of athlete does not bother me because I'm, I'm, I grew up in a military family, and I know how to dish out discipline and get them on the right page and turn the whole life around. So I look at every aspect of the player. Um, Every high school kid, when I go to a gym to recruit, I try to get there real early before their game to see how they act in the hallway and at the concession stands. So I'm looking at their character and just how they are, how they speak, everything. I, I'm looking at a lot of things, but most of all, I'm looking at them grades because I want them to be able to stay on the team while they're here and excel. So th there's a lot of things when it comes into coaching, and you got to have a broad mind. You just can't. You know, say, all right, you can't play for me because I don't like the way you carry yourself. I, if I think you're a good person and I talk to you for 15 minutes, I'm going to make sure if you come here, you, you are going to be a good person. So uh, that's the good thing. I, that's one of my challenges as a coach is to make my players and, and student athletes just the best person they can be. And I, I think we've done a good job with that, not just me, but everybody that's involved with athletics, period. Well, Coach, we appreciate it. We're looking forward to the season. We hope it's going to be a great one. And we invite all of our viewers to come out to the Cougar Den and support CCCC basketball. Until next time, thank you for being with us. Thank you. You good?